Hi everyone, my name is Dennis. I am an architect and an English speaker. This time, we will be discussing some English lessons. But before that, do not forget to subscribe and follow me on social media found on the description. So let's get started. Our lesson for today is about words added to verbs. From our study, you see how our classes of words grew out of man's need of them in expressing his thoughts. And notice also how the many thousands of words in our language can all be grouped under these few classes. We name the things about us. We invent words to tell what these things do. We have another class of words which describe the things which we have named. And now, we come to a fourth class of words for which we also find great need. When we come to tell what things to do, we find that we need words which will tell us how or where or when these things are done. Let us read and examine the following sentences. The men work busily. The men work late. The men work now. The men work here. The men work hard. The men work well. The men work inside. The men work more. We would have a complete sentence and express a complete thought if we said simply, the men work, but each of these words which we have added like busily, hard, late, and etc., adds something to the meaning of the verb. These words add something to the action which is asserted by the verb, for they show how and when and where and how much the men work. We can call this class of words adverbs because they are added to verbs to make the meaning more definite. Very much as adjectives are added to nouns, adverb means literally to the verb. An adverb will always answer one of these questions, how, when, how long, how often, how much, how far, or how late. Again, an adverb will always answer one of these questions. How? When? How long? How often? How much? How far? Or how late? An adverb may be used also with an adjective. Let us read the following sentences. The book is very long. Too many people never drink. Notice here that the adverbs very and too modify the adjectives long and many. Adverbs may also use with other adverbs. Let us read the following sentences. He speaks very distinctly. He walks too slowly. Here, the adverbs very and too are used with the adverbs distinctly and slowly and add to their meaning. We will study more fully in later lessons concerning both the adjective and the adverb. But we can see by this brief lesson 
or study, why adverbs were added as a class of words. A part of speech, for they are absolutely necessary in order to describe the action expressed by verbs, and also to add to the meaning of adjectives and other adverbs. Hence, we have our definition of an adverb. An adverb is a word that modifies the meaning of a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. Always remember, an adverb is a word that modifies the meaning of a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. So, this time, again, we will have an exercises that you can download for free on my Facebook profile. Inside of this exercise, you will just underscore all of the adverbs in the following sentences. The file is in a Google Drive link that is posted on my Facebook profile. So, if you are watching on Facebook groups or other platforms, just simply add me on your Facebook lists of friends in order for you to view this lesson or video and at the same time the video or uh, rather the Google Drive link that is posted inside the description. Again, you can download this exercise under this lesson for free by simply adding me on your Facebook friends list and you will be automatically view and access the exercises absolutely for free. Alright, and that ends our lesson. I hope you like it. Please help us to make more contents and get updates by clicking the subscribe button and add me on your social media accounts. Thank you everyone!